I've spent over five figures on influencer marketing and I've made back over six figures doing so. But it's very easy to lose a ton of time, product, and money when you do not know what you are doing. And in this video, I'll explain how to do effective influencer marketing for your clothing brand and how not to make beginner mistakes and lose money in the process. Now, the first thing we have to define is influencer marketing, right? Most people think influencer marketing is where you just take a product, you send it to an influencer and boom, they post it and you get sales, right? Whether that's paying for promo, sending out your pieces to people, boxes and etc and most people's end goal from this is to just get sales right away now this is partially what influencer marketing is right but there's another thing with influencer marketing that people don't tend to look at and it's a pretty big thing about influencer marketing in my opinion the real purpose of influencer marketing is to build awareness for your brand you see not every promo post you pay for is going to convert people right away to buying in your entire marketing funnel right influencer marketing has its purpose of sitting at the top of the funnel top of the funnel means bringing new people into the brand and with these influencers when you have a lot of people starting to wear your product constantly and you have volume of people wearing it, then your brand awareness just skyrockets and people start to know, okay, I, I see this brand all the time. Watch your step or whatever your brand is. And then eventually they start to look into you, start going through your page, start learning more about your brand. And then eventually after a while, then make the decision to purpose. But influencer marketing, people don't just see a post and buy right away just because of an influencer. They still have to go through the other steps of actually learning about your brand and product before they actually want to purchase. Now, when should you use influencer marketing and how should you use it in my opinion i think you could do influencer marketing even from the start of your brand if you want the fastest route of putting your name out there and growing your following influencer marketing will be your best option now we all know organic marketing which is just posting tiktoks and instagram reels is the cheapest form of marketing and it's the best way to get sales for free but that can also take a lot of time and a lot of skill to constantly post organic videos and then paid ads we all know paid ads are super super expensive so that leaves us with influencer marketing where you can just send out your product to most influencers and they'll wear it if you have a good product and this is the fastest way like i said to get your brand name out there i mean my game plan for my second brand is to not start with ads or organic content I'm starting with influencer marketing. I'm gonna send out my product to hundreds of influencers and try to just get my brand awareness as big as possible. Especially in the beginning when you don't have any followers, you need followers and you need stuff like that as social proof. So when people see your brand, you know, they don't wanna buy from a 30 follower brand and et cetera. So that's why you should use it and when to use it, you can use it whenever, like I mentioned. Now there's two routes you could take with influencer marketing. TikTok shop, and Instagram influencers. And let's start with TikTok shop. So here's a little breakdown of how TikTok shop works, okay? You have your product on the TikTok shop. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know what TikTok shop is. If you don't, you're living under a rock. But TikTok shop is where people can buy your product directly off the TikTok platform. And this is my favorite way of influencer marketing at the moment. So with TikTok shop, most people just think it's where you post videos of your product, tag the yellow cart on your video, and boom, that's it. But TikTok shop has a feature where you can use influencers to promote your product. And here's how it works. You have your TikTok shop product, you have your TikTok shop store page, whatever. You send out your product through TikTok shop to an influencer, right? I'll show you guys in a little bit how to find these influencers. This influencer then promotes the product with your store page linked up to the videos and boom, you get sales, right? People will decide if they wanna buy or not and then the influencer gets paid off commission. So usually with influencer marketing, you would have to pay people for promos, right? You'd have to pay them $100, $200 just to post about your video. But the reason why I like TikTok shop is you don't have to pay people fixed fees. It's based off of how good they are. So every time they get a sale, they get a commission of that sale and that could be anywhere from 10 to 20%, right? I like to do 20% because I'm trying to be aggressive in the market right now, but most brands will do 10%. So you're not breaking the bank, you're paying like five dollars per unit pretty much just to have them promote your product and get you sales which i think is a win-win for everybody so it's a very simple concept and at volume when you have a volume of creators promoting your product every single day it's just a snowball effect and really really starts to take off and i've started to notice that with my brand so yeah how can we find these creators how can we send them the products and how can we just build out a system that works really really well and easy to run okay so once you create a tiktok shop account which i'm pretty sure you guys already have you guys will just go to the affiliate center and this is where you can start to, you know, run your, your mastermind operation. So the first thing is you need to set up a collaboration. So one thing I like to do is just go to target collaboration. And the first thing we're going to do is click invite to collaborate. Now, right here, you'll just create an invitation for me. I like to call this WIS creators because these are going to be my creators that work with me and then valid until I don't know, you could just put like 20 years in the future. Um, just to keep it active. So here you'll just put your email address so the creators can contact you back, phone number, and then a message. For me, I like to just do the standard one. Hi creator, we are excited to collab with you. Preferred content type is shoppable video. And then here you'll just choose the products you want. So let's say I wanna do this product right here and I'm willing to give up 10% commission. 
so creators are going to make five dollars and eighty cents per sale they get which is pretty good because remember this is a volume game here you'll have set up free samples where you want to give these creators free samples right so they can get the product and then promote your product for me i don't like to do auto approve requests i like to do manual review requests where we review these sample requests and then boom choose creators you don't have to do this choose creators part yet because we're going to do a different method to get them and once you do that you're just going to click send okay now that we have our collaboration set up it's now time to start finding creators to work with us so here are my rules when i look for creators i like to look for creators that have low followers so if you're selling women's product you could put like women's for the gender if you're not selling a women's product i would just do both follower age you can do targeting i don't really like to touch this as well i like to keep this broad and then performance you could do all this stuff right here but i'll show you guys what i do right now so once we have our low follower count creator filter i like to come to sort by relevancy and change this to gmv and this is pretty much the revenue these creators drive so you guys can see right here this creator has 30k followers really really low in followers and has generated over 600k in revenue for a brand in the last 30 days also one more filter you guys should probably put is product category and then come down to like menswear or womenswear whichever one you're selling so for me it'd be menswear and we'll put that here and this will give me more fashion related creators who do more fashion content so what i like to do is find creators that fit my niche right you want to find creators that can relate to your target audience because those creators will perform the best right if you're a gym wear brand you want to look for fashion gym wear people for me i have a pretty big teenage market so i like to look for teenage influencers because my target audience will relate to that so you guys can see the content of these creators the revenue average video views but i don't really look at anything but revenue right now because obviously that's what matters we want creators that know how to make good content and we could tell they know how to make good content if they're actually generating sales for other brands so let's say we found this creator's video we like his content style he fits our target audience we'll just come over to invite and then we'll just invite them to our thing now after we invite them i like to also message them as well to follow up with them and let them know like hey we really want to work with you so you'll just click on the profile and then click on the message button right here and once you do that you'll just tell them to request a free sample and from there you'll come over to sample request and then you'll just approve the sample request now it's that simple to find creators send out the product and etc now once they actually have the product it's now time for them to actually start promoting it and you'll just follow up with them in the messages once the product arrives let them know hey when is this going to get posted and etc and when they eventually post this is how you actually see the analytics so you'll just go to creator analytics on the left and it'll show you all of your data right here for the last 30 days seven days daily whatever and you can see which creators are promoting and getting the most views and this is how you pretty much make decisions on which type of creators are performing the best and if you want to send out more products to certain creators because they're performing well and that's how you use tiktok shop that's how you actually get influencers on tiktok shop and track the data now me personally i have an influencer marketing manager who i hired and they manage all this stuff all all the outreach to creators all the analytical tracking all the negotiations and etc now i'm going to give you guys a tip i was kind of debating on do i want to share this or not but i figured it might help you guys so with tiktok shop what i like to do personally for my brand is once i find creators that are actually you know starting to perform for us and get us really good sales and make good content i like to try to hire them as creators for the brand like get them posting like two three times a week consistently for the brand because it's proven these creators can get us sales and people resonate with them so i like to get them on our team and really you know be a full-time content creator for us and we're still running this off commission as well and the way we do that is we'll probably raise their commission as well instead of giving them you know whatever 10 percent that's what we're giving them we'll give them 15 20 percent and so forth and then we just kind of manage all those creators and have them you know constantly posting we help them with video ideas we help them we're giving them all the resources they can to actually make good content so that in turn helps us as well you know with them generating a sales and etc and they're paid fairly off commission so the creator is happy and we're happy and that's the first way you can do affiliate marketing because one you get awareness of all these influencers posting your product constantly on tiktok shop and people just keep seeing it over and over and over again and one thing i like about tiktok shop is when somebody clicks on your yellow car or they are kind of interested in your product tiktok knows that and they'll start to push out more of your affiliates content to that ideal customer so they're just constantly seeing your product constantly 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 until they end up purchasing and tiktok shop overall just converts better than a website tiktok shop for me is like sitting at around a two percent conversion rate which is really really high for me at the moment now here's the second route to influencer marketing and that's using instagram influencers now this is the same thing as tiktok shop in a sense where you're just sending out product to creators and they'll make content for you post it and etc but there's no direct conversions from this you cannot track the direct conversions. see with tiktok shop people can buy off the car off the video and your tiktok shop will know okay this creator generated this revenue right here but with instagram you can't really track any of that so instagram influencers for me the play for that 
is to get more custom content if I need like a custom type of video done. If I want fit pics, people to post fit pics for us so we can have photo content and just build brand awareness overall on there as well to help juice up the Instagram followers. And Instagram influencers are still good. I still use them to this day, but they are a little bit more pricey as well. Since there's no commission based stuff like how TikTok shop has, most of these Instagram influencers want paid rates where you have to pay money up front and product for them to post. So it can get very expensive. So I wouldn't recommend you touch Instagram influencers until you stabilize your TikTok shop influencers first. And you just have to be more wise overall and have experience with Instagram influencers because like I said, you're paying money up front now for these promos and et cetera. And all this kind of ties back and leads me to my main purpose with influencer marketing now. And that is for content as well. Now, when you get to a certain scale with your brand, or even if you're in the beginner stages and you don't want to make content for some reason, you just don't want to make organic content. Like for me, it's a time thing. I don't have the time to sit there and make organic content, right? And kind of play the lottery of when the video is going to go viral. I have capital behind my brand so I can use that capital to just skyrocket my growth. So with influencer marketing, I like to get the content from those influencers influencers and run that as ads. And that's how I'm getting all my ad content right now. I'm getting all my ad content from these influencers creating these posts, right? And they're getting commission off the TikTok shop and etc. But I'm just taking that content and I'm running it as Facebook ads. I'm running it as TikTok ads. So now I'm getting sales from the organic affiliate marketing from these creators. I'm getting sales from the Facebook ads and the TikTok ads. And I just have a ton of content to work with for the brand. And that's kind of my main thing about influencer marketing, right? Awareness, content, and sales. But content is probably the biggest thing for me. I'm not going to lie because I don't want to sit there and make content. I just don't want to do it. I'd rather have creators who do content for a living, right? This is what they do for a living that know how to make better videos than me, make the content for me. So I'm just leveraging time and knowledge. And yeah, that's pretty much my influencer marketing guy. That's it's very, very simple. The whole concept of influencer marketing. The thing is about influencer marketing. It's a volume game. Now, if you found this video helpful, then make sure to check out the link down below where I have a free guide on how to go from zero to 10 K a month with your clothing brand in 90 days. You guys can just click the link in the description and go watch that and if you guys just want to get mentored by me and have me help you scale your brand and i offer guaranteed results by the way for that as well then make sure to click out the apply to work with me link down below and it'll also be in the pinned comment as well both videos but other than that i appreciate you guys for watching and i will see you in the next video